You're on Rescue TV with a very special guest today, Lord Wedgwood. Welcome to Sydney and welcome to Rescue TV. Thank you, Bar. It's so wonderful to be in this fabulous city of yours, uh, now, especially at this time of the year. You've got spring. a great day for it. Yeah, just gorgeous. Now, we have had the pleasure of interviewing a lot of celebrities and uh, VIPs, but I have to say I was personally most excited about being given the opportunity to speak to you. Well, I'm, I'm truly flattered by that. Particularly at this time of year, as we are beginning to think of gift giving sure. and um, special occasions. And so today I'd like to ask you to share some of your expertise on this subject that we've been talking about, about making an impact um, in your personal dining and also in your gift giving. It's such an important part of our lives, isn't it? If you're giving somebody a gift, giving them something that is meaningful, that is not going to sort of self-destruct in yes. a short period of time, but is going to last with them for many years and maybe even many generations. I find, for example, with people who collect Wedgwood, they generally start quite young. They receive a piece, um, and maybe it's not a hugely significant piece, but it is very representative of our brand. And that starts a lifelong interest, and they end up building up a collection of, in some instances, really important pieces. Just in summary, I'd love you just to share with our readers a couple of expert tips um, when selecting uh, from Wedgwood. Uh, do you have any advice that you give to first time uh, uh, people who are going to experience the world of Wedgwood? Well, I'm going to take on the wonderful lady who um, uh, spoke to you and say go big. I mean, the, the point about it is I, I find with people who come in and they're, they're you know, they find it very difficult and they're worried about what their family and their friends are going to think about their particular choice. I really think, you know, go for the gusto. It's, it's you. It's, it's what you're going to be doing. And I think, think further into the future. So, you know, it's all very well to have something that is really sort of simple and it's not going to really sort of... Um, make any waves. Ma <laughs> make any waves. But if you like a little bit of colour, if you like a little pizzazz, if you like a bit of gold, well, go for it. You know, it's, it's, it's really, I, I think for, for people starting out, think of the different uses. Think of your lifestyle. And, you know, some of us live more casually than others, maybe. Um, and, and, and therefore, there are certain things that you could mix and use in a different way. Sure. But I think, visualise what your table what you would like your table to look like. And I think for many people, they have the memories of when they were a child. They have the memories of, you know, those great occasions, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Mother's Day, a birthday, any type of occasion. Visualize that, visualize that table and, and think about how you could make it different. How you could put your own stamp on that and make it really special so that when people come into your home um, and they, they come into wherever you're dining, uh, they, they, they get a good feeling. They get, you know, people get excited. I, I don't know what it is. Is it the adrenaline that gets going? You know, you see something and you anticipate. And, and you, you anticipate. want it. That's right. Create a bit of envy with yeah, your friends. That's <laughs> right. I mean, I know in Australia, you know, there are many people that are, that are cooking today, men included. And I really love to cook. I, it's, uh, I, I, I think it's one of the greatest gifts you can do for, create for somebody is something. And I do, uh, I'm still at a, a relatively simple stage. I haven't branched out into anything that's hugely complicated. But you can do relatively simple things. But if you've got this table that just comes out at you and makes you feel good, um, I, you know, I, I judge a, a dinner party, a lunch party, an afternoon tea or something like that, 
in a sense, by the noise, because people, when they're in that kind of mode, it's true. really that's want a, that's to shatter like crazy. Yeah, that's true. We have a, a joke in our family that, you know, usually, maybe once during the course of an evening or whenever, there's just that slight lull, and it's usually 20 past the hour, and we say, oh, that's when the angels are passing. I don't know whether many other families have that uh, saying as well, but it's... But otherwise, it's full on, it's conversation, it's, it's, it's wonderful, and people leave feeling really good. Sometimes, not on the, the greatest cuisine. <laughs> yes, exactly, but at least your tableware yeah. was exquisite. Yeah. Now, even if you're not a master chef yourself, you can give yourself a bit of a head start. Yeah. Lord Wedgwood, thank you so much. We wish you a wonderful trip in Australia. Thank you. And um, we look forward to uh, having many beautiful, memorable family occasions um, with your, your brand and your company in our homes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being so appreciative of all of us. Thank you. <laughs>